Hello, and welcome to this Secure Programming with Java course presented by EC Council. So now let's talk about the structure of the course and what you can expect from this course. As our roadmap will show, we're going to have eight sections in this course. We're going to start out with an introduction to Java security, talking about how Java works, some of the fundamentals of Java security, and essentially setting the stage for the rest of this course. After that, we're going to have a discussion on secure application design, understanding the processes and requirements for developing applications securely. Third, we're going to focus on cryptography and discuss secure coding practices that help to ensure that we're using cryptography correctly within our Java applications. Fourth, we're going to talk about secure coding practices for error handling. So make sure that our Java programs are appropriately managing anything that goes wrong while they're running. Fifth, we'll discuss concurrency and race conditions. So parallelized code and ensuring that that parallel code runs properly and that the various um, simultaneous threads of execution aren't fighting over shared resources. Six, we're going to talk about Java for the web, discussing internet-facing applications or ones that just use the network. Seventh, we'll discuss authentication, authorization, and session management, essentially managing user identities and permissions, making sure that a user of an application is who they claim to be, and only allowing them to do the things they're supposed to be allowed to do within the application. And finally, we're going to close with a discussion of application security testing, including both static and dynamic analysis that will help us find any potential errors, vulnerabilities, etc., within our applications before or sending them out to production where any missed vulnerabilities could be exploited by an attacker. And so the prerequisites for this course are pretty simple. Wherever possible, we're going to try to minimize the required knowledge of programming, etc. And so prereqs mainly focus on what you're going to need on your machine. And so what you'll need is something to write code in, whether that's a simple text editor like Notepad or Vim, or an integrated development environment or IDE. You also need the ability to develop and run Java code. And so you need to have the Java development kit or JDK downloaded and installed on your computer because that provides the compiler, the debugger, and the runtime environment. And so that's all you really need to know to get started with this course. So here we go.